Hi, I've been wanting to make this video for some time and I've been reflecting back on the thousands of resumes and CVs I've reviewed this past year. And it came to me this morning, I wanna give you the three key tips, three key areas where I see so many people make so many mistakes that gets in the way of you having an effective, good, great, even winning CV or resume. So I'm gonna give you those three tips and the best one's gonna be last for watch time. So the thing about resumes and CVs is if you know much about them, then it only takes a recruiter about six, seven or eight seconds to review one the first time and make some sort of decision as to whether they wanna to talk to you or get you in for an interview. So critically, the front page, the first page is really the most important part of your resume. And your resume's sole job really is to get you that conversation with the recruiter or the employer. So far too often do I see people put non-essential words at the top of their resume like curriculum vitae or resume when we actually know what this document is. Get rid of those words, get rid of the erroneous text and just put your name in the biggest, boldest, largest font size letters you can at the top of the page because your name is the hero of this document. You're trying to sell yourself to the employer and the one thing you want them to do is to remember your name. Which leads me to the second key point. Think about whether you need that photo on your resume. Each and every year candidates ask me, should I be including a photo on my resume this year? And my advice this year is the same as before. Don't include that photo, particularly if you are applying for a job in the professional realm. It's just seen as ostentatious, over the top. And the other thing you don't know about the problem with including a photo on your resume is if they've never seen you before, all of a sudden, they're making up ideas about you based on your photo rather than the contents of your CV or resume. And they're spending three or four seconds looking at that photo when they should be spending those three or four seconds out of the six to eight seconds reviewing other parts of your resume. And my third key point and the most valuable thing, the thing I see missing so often or poorly executed on CVs or resumes is what some might call the personal profile or career summary. What I like to call the executive summary, the bit that sits at the top of your resume, right under your name, that takes up about a third or half of the front page, that tells your story about who you are, what your career is about, and what you can offer to the employer. The problems I see is it's either missing or people are putting bullet points with responsibilities and things that they've done in the past that are of no real interest to the employer. So make sure you tailor that and talk about the sort of knowledge and skills and capabilities that you can bring to the job, but also think about what can you offer to this employer? What do they need? Can you offer new leads or new business? Can you offer to improve processes and reduce costs? Or can you actually create new value for this employer? Write all that down in a narrative at the top of your resume. Hi, I'm Anthony, otherwise known as The Career Doctor. I make videos on YouTube about the job application process. I am a real medical doctor who knows far too much about the recruitment process. If you wanna check out some of my other videos for more extended information about things like resumes or interviews, I'll leave some descriptions below. Thanks for watching and good luck with your CV or resume this year.